Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joseph Finney and I'm the entrepreneur from by Planet Properties. Conduct this uh, sale of this uh, package opportunity here at number 7 Year Island in Newtown. Before we get underway, ladies and gentlemen, does anybody need any issues cleared up? I'll, uh, I will read to you the conditions of an auction sale. But uh, if anyone's got any questions, now's the time to ask, as I'm here to answer the questions you might have. All pretty clear? Yeah, the contract's been available to Planet Properties. For the past four weeks, so I'm sure that anybody that's uh, got an interest in the property has had the contract well approved by their legal representation, and um, we've received a few uh, changes and conditions that uh, we've all that we've noted. So, if you're sort of interested in contact with our solicitors, uh, everything's been noted. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, prescribed conditions of an option of sale. I'll uh, probably stop in the state of that 2002. Now, there is a, there's been a couple of changes with respect to the law over the past few years, but in res with respect to this uh, change, there was one that I uh, went through only about a couple of months ago, and that is with respect to uh, signing the uh, business forms and also making sure that when you bid, you show me clearly the number that you've uh, been assigned so that uh, the auction process is a nice, transparent process and we won't have any problems and everyone knows exactly what's going on. So the conditions are as follows, and the, the principal reserve price must be given in writing to the auction before the auction commences, and I will get that off in a moment, hopefully. Uh, a bid for the seller cannot be made unless the auctioneer has before commencement of the auction announced clearly and precisely the number of bids made on behalf of the seller. Now, ladies and gentlemen, clear up any misconceptions with respect to this, if I'm required to place a bid in on the vendor's behalf, there will only be one bid that I'm placing on their behalf, and uh, be restful assured that you will all be notified well in advance before I do so, and uh, there will only be one uh, bid made on, on behalf of their vendor if I'm required to do so. The highest bidder is the first subject. for somebody else, guys, we need to know that because uh, that's one of the major changes that uh, occurred. Um, if you've registered and you haven't notified us that uh, you'll be bidding for somebody else, uh, I deem you to be the buyer and you've got to buy the property, so you do this, it's a good report. So make sure that you uh, 
notify us uh, that you, you are bidding on behalf of any uh, prospective buyer. So is there anyone bidding here on behalf of anybody else? Just so we're clear. Everyone's uh, bidding for themselves because there's been quite a few registrations. Okay, good, that's nice and clear. A bid cannot be made or accepted after the fall of the hammer. I think that's pretty uh, self-explanatory and obvious. And as soon as practical after the fall of the hammer, the purchaser is to sign the agreement for sale. And that agreement for sale, ladies and gentlemen, again, has been uh, with Planet Properties for the past four weeks. And uh, I'm sure that uh, everyone's had their contracts looked at and looked over. But what I will do, I'm not going to go through the whole con contract with you guys. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty tedious task. But what I will do is just go through the front page with you, stating that, of course, the vendor's agents are Planet Properties of Petersham. Uh, the vendor is Juzan Bolyan, and the vendor solicitor is uh, Moscato Lawyers at Burwood. The deposit holder listed on the contract will be the vendor's agent, and any deposit paid here today for this house will be invested on behalf of both purchaser and vendor, and any interest approved will be uh, split between the two upon settlement. Uh, completion date's a 42 day period, which is a six week completion, standard completion date. And uh, the land address is known as 70 Urala Street, Newtown. Uh, folio identifier 1 forward slash 201495. And what's on offer here today is a Torrance title property in the form of Fee Simple, which is the highest ownership uh, for residential property in New South Wales. Inclusions listed are the fixed floor coverings, light fittings, range hood, <coughs> stove, TV antenna, and also the washing machine in the laundry out the back. And when I looked through this contract earlier, I did notice that the, uh, that the board sewer line runs along the back, uh, back of the property, uh, not on, not infringing on the property at all, but along the, along the, uh, the rear lane at the very rear. So you've got no board sewer line to contend with with this property. If you need to hook into that sewer line in any way, shape, or form in the future, be rest assured it's not under your property. If you intend to improve the property. Uh, by uh, you know, doing any additions or anything like that, no problems with sewer line, which is always a concern with your building. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are we all clear so far? Is there any questions I can answer as we go along? Everyone, everyone's quite clear, all right? Okay, good. As the uh, brochure says, ladies and gentlemen, uh, position and potential for... Uh, you all know that we're in the, the northern part of Newtown, which is the preferred area of Newtown. It's a, a great spot. It's always really, really sought after, as is evident today with the number of prospective bidders that have registered. And uh, yeah, I mean, when I walked down uh, Urala Street just uh, this morning, I, just, I felt a really nice feeling. Uh, lots of uh, lots of streets in the in the west uh, aren't very green, uh, but this particular street is lovely and green and lush, and this feels really nice. It's a nice shady feeling. So through summer, it's lovely out here, and. Uh, uh, you, you're, you're not subjected to you know, intense heat. It's a great position here in North Newtown. Beautiful facade with the rest of the uh, terraces all looking very, very similar from the front. This particular terrace here, ladies and gentlemen, consists of two bedrooms with the uh, third room at the rear, which could be used as a study, or there's various configurations that this house has been uh, used as over the past few years. But uh, the way I would probably set it up would be two bedrooms at the front, with uh, the third room being a study at the rear and a, a small dining area through to the uh, eating kitchen at the rear of the house. But a very, very nice home indeed with lots of original features, very attractive. And uh, I don't want to keep you waiting any longer, guys. I think uh, we'll, you know, we'll cut through the chat.